how to resolve login failed error 18456 error this is required for connections of sql server for data engineers applications for developers application connections for developers power bi data analyst connections any kind of connections in fabric linked service connections and the day to day troubleshooting by database administrators and etl admins how do we resolve this error see there login failed for user john in fact technically this is login not user though you see that login failed for user it's not user it's a login this is a login here john login so login failed for john login 18456 error before we learn how to resolve the problem first let's see why we have this problem where do we check the reason for this problem let's see what is that again you have this error server is ready server is perfect is connected using some other authentication for john it is failing then what we do we need to verify the reason for this error go to go to server management go to your sql server management there you see server logs okay i just received the error so it will be in the current log go to current log and you see this error you see some errors here power bi or other errors you have one important error for our understanding Called login failed error. Let's put this way. It's right. Say login failed for so and so John, right? Isn't it? I'll click on messages. I'll sort messages. Okay, and you can even export. the content i'll sort the messages first and look for the john somewhere here you'll see john or filter message text contains john login now you see here some login failed errors we are supposed to get john login it is showing reports sir power bi error any error okay any login failed error with 18456 you see the reason also see there you see the reason as well now for example you have let's take the same error this one fail to open the database i mean you see the reason also let me just simulate the error again then show you the exact error here let me simulate the error first show it here 
and then we'll see how to resolve it. Okay, let's see. First, I'll simulate the error here. For that, please give me a few moments time. I'll simply stop this Power BI errors first. I'll stop the Power BI errors. Just wait for a few moments. We have the frequent errors over there, right? I'll simply stop the Power BI errors. Yes. I just stopped the error for Power BI. And now I'll simulate the error again. Dot login and the password. It gives you an error, right? One eight four five six error. Then what we do? Go to logs current. See here. Login failed for user, so and so. John login failed. Reason, an attempt to login using SQL authentication, but server is configured for integrated authentication. Integrated authentication means Windows authentication. Server is configured for Windows. You are using SQL. So right click server properties. Go to security. Change the authentication mode. Select SQL authentication mode. SQL authentication mode. And click OK. You are changing the authentication. Some of your configuration changes will affect only after you restart your server. So right click server restart. Right click server restart. And one more important step. For SQL authentication, there is one login called SA system administrator. This SA account should be enabled like this. SA account should be enabled. Click OK. Okay, right click SA properties. SA should be enabled. Go to status enable SA. And you also set a password for SA. Any password of your choice. Okay, set a password for SA. Click OK like So what we are learning here, we are understanding how to, number one, change the authentication type. How right click server properties, we did this few minutes back. Go to server property, security, change it. From option one, you give option two. Number two, right click restart the server. Number three, right click SA properties. Status should be enabled and password for SA. 
so once you do all these activities now the issue should be resolved let's log in using that s john login we have john login and password very first time we specify john credentials it may ask you to set a password so let me set the password for john or let john set his password click okay and successfully connected okay do this activity the same order step number 1 right click server properties change authentication mode this one okay this one step number 2 right click server once again then restart first time property step 1 step 2 restart step 3 right click sa properties go to status enable go to general change the pass you are done you will be able to connect successfully